everyone, my name is Alex and I'm a student ambassador at CI. In this segment, we'll go ahead and be discussing one of the many ways that students can get involved on campus, and that's through participating in clubs and organizations. At CSUCI, students are provided with the opportunity to engage and build a sense of community in tons of different ways. One of them is going to be through our 90 plus clubs and organizations that we have on campus. Starting a new club though is an awesome way to get to meet new people, develop professional skills, and also it's gonna look great on a resume. First, you're going to wanna to start by collecting a group of students enrolled at CI who are interested in your club, a minimum of five people. Decide collectively on what the mission is for the club and basically what the purpose is going to be. What do you want your club to look like? What do you want it to accomplish, etc. Things like that. So on to the second step, you're gonna to wanna to pick an advisor for your club. The advisor does have to be CI staff, faculty, or administration. So this could be somebody who's a professor or maybe that you know in another university department. You're gonna to wanna to try to pick somebody who can best support the students and definitely the focus of the club if possible. And then the third step. So you're gonna to wanna to collectively determine who's going to be your president, vice president, and your treasurer for your club. These are your club officers and they do have to meet all the eligible requirements for a club officer at our university. These uh, requirements are going to be like a 2.5 GPA and they need to be in good standing with the university. More can be found at our student handbook. Okay, so now we're on to the fourth and final step. So the final step is to devise a constitution for your club. So a constitution, it's going to have the rules, the bylaws, and anything else you deem necessary for it. This can be edited in the future, but it's a really good reference point for the club to always have. The details of the club and the constitution do not have to be developed alone. Students can receive help from places like our writing center in the library and our engagement center in Bell Tower and so much more. Now, if you or anyone you know wants to start a club, you know just where to start.